Hello everyone, Smiley here, welcome back to Resident Evil Director's Cut And it's been a couple of days So anyway, we can't use this one, it's already used Already have the passcode So we have like, what, one more to find and then we can get the fuck out of here So I think this might be the final one I don't know, obviously But basically, well, from what I remember reading, it was like Oh, you need three security passcodes and then you can get to the get through the big door upstairs up the ladder anyway it's been a couple days I've been not too busy I've just fucking crashed out each night like unironically just fucking out like a light bulb which is not good no sorry anything that I have here that can help me no except for my ammo I'm gonna go kill these fucking things I've had enough of them Pissed me off the last time. I forgot how loud this shit is. Die. Ugh, maggots came off him. Fucking maggots wiggling around on the ground. Nah. -uh. What does this do? A power panel. Some areas are not do not have power. Will you activate the blackout blackout areas? Yes. Well, I believe that they are not going to get back up. That means I can go this way instead of having to outrun these fuckers. There's another couple in here, but I should be able to handle them. Just gonna do this, just in case shit goes awry. Oh fuck. Die. Stupid little bitch. Okay. It's passcode output machine. Yeah, I need to get the ammo. I, I forgot. I'm too used to the newer games. Passcode 3. Genesis. And through your offspring all nations on earth will be blessed because you have obeyed me genesis 22 18 cool still don't know shit about the bible but the book of genesis and none of that oh mamma mia i see you there motherfucker coming over here come on oh he's stuck He's stuck. Oh no, he's not stuck. He's not stuck! I had to do that before I died, because I'm on danger. I haven't got no... I got no healing items. But now I have all the codes. So now I can unlock that door. I need healing items. But... There's none nearby, from what I remember. So we're just gonna have to go to that door. That's over here this way no zombies to worry about here except for that one that you hear shuffling also I should probably mention there's been so since I said I've been busy I went shopping on Friday Halloween stuff got myself something I've always wanted which is a skeleton which I shoved into the uh, coffin this is the wrong room fuck's sake it would help if I actually paid attention to the game. And I've also got a couple of uh, neon lights, so I'm cheating the system because I have one of them on right now, but it doesn't count as having the lights on. Actually, I think it adds because it adds more shadows into the room rather than just pure darkness. Nah, I'll turn it off in a second. Yeah, I know. There we go, passcode sorted. I don't know what we have to do in the power room. All that just to unlock a door. For some reason. What's this? Jill? Is that uh, you, Jill? Oh, shit. Oh, Chris, you're alive! He's not dead. Of course not. He's of in course. eight. Damn it, we're in quite a predicament, Jill. 
He's in seven and eight, which Chris. is like the only other anyway, Resident Evil games I've played on here. It I get work. it. Well, Chris, I'll be sure to come back and help you soon. Will you wait here? He, Thanks. He's got no choice. I'll be waiting here for you. He's he's got no choice, Jill. He can't fucking leave. Okay, so all of that to try and save Chris. Okay. Cool. Looks like I've got to go kill those things and do whatever it is in the power room. Oh boy. Unintentionally dragging. It. Because I don't know what the fuck I'm doing. I need to go through that long ass hallway again. I also saw the substance. Really good. Some aspects were a bit. It kind of dragged on a little. Towards the end, though. A couple of uh, overly goofy bits at the end. Felt a little out of place. This shit is so loud. I get that they wanted it to feel real, but god damn. Could have gave Jill some earplugs or something. Where is this asshole? <laughs> Dead. That's where he is. He's in hell. What's that green light? <laughs> I knew there was more than one in here. Steaming shit. It's all good. Provide the power to other areas, so it should be fine in here. There was that power thing in the cage, but I don't think that matters. It's a triggering system activated. It's quite big. Can I activate it then? Damn tank controls. Should I Chris is? Where is one here? Power for the elevator and activated at the power supply and the circuit has been connected. Okay, so I can go to the elevator then. Cool, I did all that just to find out that I can take the lift. I don't go out worry about monsters in here anymore. That's a creepy looking bit, just that bit there with the door. I'd be scared if I saw that. In real life, I mean. Right. Get the fuck out of here. The lift should be active by now. There's no reaction, it has no power. You fucking what? It said that. Yes! Yes! Jill! Oh, hey, Barry. Chris is in the other room. Jill! You're here too! Yes, you're here too? Look, uh, this is suspicious. I lost my way. Sure. Let's get going. You found the one left out of here. No, Chris! But Crystal! Can we not save Chris? Have I fucked up? Have I fucked up? I'm not sure. Wesker, you're gonna attract you some shit. Job, hit Barry. Oh, there Just we go. As I thought. 
I think you should stay away from Barry, Jill. You didn't think so, Jill. You didn't say that two before. Will be in if also, we found out about I Star has been betrayed you last are episode. so cruel. Well, you don't have to worry about anything, because you'll be free from this world very soon, Jill. Why do you have to destroy stars? That's Umbrella's intention. This laboratory has been engaging in dangerous experiments, and recently an accident has occurred. Anyway, this disaster can be accident, huh? Public. That's why having stars nosing about is so inconvenient. So you're a slave of Umbrella now, along with these virus monsters. Yeah, it's been for a while. Do you I not see you that picture? I think you understand me, Jill. To me, the monsters you mentioned mean nothing. I'm going to burn all of them together with this entire laboratory. I must complete my mission as ordered that by That sounds like Emperor. a great plan. Barry, go up on the ground and wait there. Yeah, Barry. go and let Chris out. Barry's such He'll a jump fool. out the way. He'll be under the control of Umbrella forever. How come both uh -uh. Umbrella and you can intimidate him by taking his family as hostages? Umbrella? Well, I intimidated of course they can, him, they're but evil. it had nothing to do with Umbrella. Oh, so he's I just doing used him it. for my personal purposes. Though both you and Barry seem to think I was following orders from Umbrella. So you're well, that's because that's what you said. Else? If you succeeded in developing the world's most he powerful literally said, biological I'm working weapon, for Umbrella. what would you do? What if you were in charge? You must stop this now. You're a brave girl, but if I were you, I wouldn't give up such a big discovery. You it would be a good idea idiots. to keep no pointing the gun away from her. Its real value. So, you're going to steal all the research? <laughs> Better yet, I'm going to show you the tyrant. Oh! Yeah, that was smart. Barry! Sorry, Jill. How is your family? Uh... I was listening to what you and Wesker were talking about. I wish I realized it earlier. I thought it must His have something to do with Umbrella, you know. So it's all been masterminded by him. But he is the mastermind. You know that now. And anyway, dead by daylight. That's let's get name. out of this house first. Jill! Yes, what? Do you have any idea what Wesker was going to show you at the back of this place? The tyrant. Well... He was talking about the world's most powerful biological weapon, called Tyrant those, or something, uh, I think. Slides. Do you think we could see Tyrant now? She doesn't remember the Mary, evidence at all. Mary, you're so optimistic. It She's would look that bad door. for stars if we let such a dangerous creature run loose. Maybe you're right. Let's go then. Slightly just behind that door. Oh, this one's rusted compared to the other ones. That's how you know it's important. There it is. It's got a beating heart. Let's kill it. Oh shit, it's went to this style. Nice details on that heart. Not so much for the skin texture. Looks more like a gargoyle. Can a creature like this really be the ultimate biological weapon? With a heart on the outside? Oh, really? that's the most powerful Wesker thing. When its heart's on the outside? Man. You know, I'm protected, no rib cage. Developed. Most powerful thing on there. No po no weak spots, but I we can tell you that. Live. Just terminate it then. It's not out the tube yet. Terminate it. That must be the computer for monitoring this creature. Just terminate it. Oh, well, don't let Barry do it. He's a dumbass. He thought the umbrella was going to let him get away with his family. Oh, fuck, it's awake. Barry, you're birthing it. Stop it. You were supposed to be killing it. Supposed to get terminated. Barry. You fuck up. 
I hope Wester goes for your family now for this fuck up. Damn you! Oh fucking hell! I think Barry just died. It can't Spoiler, what it does. he didn't. Hey, uh, kill it, Jill! Instead of being like, "Oh, it's Frankenstein's monster." It's got oh, I'm dead. Well, that didn't happen. I didn't know I was going back to my control. Missed me, motherfucker! Oh shit! I'm sticking. I'm sticking to the walls. There's no items. That's not in the direction of it. Oh shit, there's a reload! Three hit combo. Oh, doom. Right, 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 right. Before I start firing at this motherfucker. This shit. Because of course Barry couldn't get a shot in at it beforehand. It's probably changed its direction. No, it's just lumbering after me in every way. Oh wait, no, it's behind me now. Oh. Ultimate weapon, my ass. Just spin around. Don't step too close. But I'm just gonna quickly do this. In case it decides to get back up, because I've seen plenty of horror movies. Barry? And you know, I love Halloween. It's my favorite. You're alive! So this cunt decides to be like Michael Myers. Uh, uh, I'm really embarrassed. I yeah, you got beat by a baby. That thing's been alive for like Let's two minutes and I already knocked your ass out. Uh, just run. Don't step on it. It's gonna fucking kill you. No healing items. Wesker's not gonna be there, is he? What happened to Wesker? Fucking pussy. Oh, he set the place to explode. Sounds like Overture's about to start playing. Just like. Oh shit! They're running in the cutscene. That's how you know it's serious. They're, they're doing more than just walking. He still has to stand there in the thinker pose while the place is about to explode. What are you reflecting on? About how stupid you were about Umbrella? Or that you thought that your wife and kid were going to be safe? Right. Now surely we can get Chris. Bam! Fucking all right. This alarm's got stuck in my head for like days. Oh fuck me! I'm gonna take the long way. <laughs> Down! Down! Disgusting thing! Had enough. Get away from me! This isn't the right one, is it? This one leads into that fucking lab. Right? No, 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 no. I had it right. I had it right. I had it right the whole time. Come on, come on, come on. We can get Chris. Don't worry, Chris. We got you. Come on, man. We need you for the next games. We need you for Code Veronica. I know oh, he's in that. Jill. Sorry for keeping you waiting. So everything is done? Is well, she Canadian? Almost, yes. Now let's go. Sorry. I thought she was like half American, half Chinese. No, wait. No. 
pretty sure I've heard it was half Japanese somewhere. Let's get the fuck out of here, Chris. You've got future games to be in. Stop walking around. You've been locked up for like what? A couple hours? I mean, it has been like two weeks since I started this series, but that doesn't matter. Why isn't Jill running? Let's go. Yeah, no shit. I don't know why Jill isn't running along. I couldn't do anything because it was a cutscene. What was the point of that? Right, so now we gotta go up those stairs and then we go up into the... Now we go up the stairs and then we go up the ladder and then we get in the lift and we get the fuck out of here. Come on. Oh, fuck off. Fucking dead eye, bitch! Get the fuck out of my way. How many shots is that left? Three? Technically four? Let's go! Yeah, no shit. Just go! I get it, you're with me. Let's just get out of here. Fucking hell, man. Yeah, there we hurry. go. Now go, 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 go. There's a lot of standing around for people that are trying to hurry. Just fucking move it. What are you standing here for? Why are you blocking me? Just get the fuck out of here. This is Brad. Running out of fuel. If there is but anyone alive, run away, Brad. Okay? Why are you standing there? Move. They're fucking face palming like, oh, we were programmed not to run during that cutscene. Oh wait, what's this? What's this? What's this? Looks important. The battery, yes. Battery's important. Let's get the fuck out of here. Oh, no wonder. That's fucking unnecessary as shit. Wesker, you asshole. This is your last resort. Turn the we're in the we're at the left. We're already there. Come on. Oh, it's counting during the cutscene. Oh no! You must be kidding. After Get to the left. Here. Ladies first. Go first. They're pissing Jill. me off. But Chris, give me a chance to play nice guy. Okay, I leave it up to you. See I'm you getting pissed off works. now because they're taking forever. My god, it's already been almost 30 seconds and I'm not allowed to touch anything. Fuck's sake. Why are they both just staying down there? It's not a one person lift, just get in. The zombies don't know how lifts work. Neither do those freaks with maggots. You know, basically red ears. I got as much brains. Wait, what the fuck is that? Take the flare, absolutely. Wait, no shots. I got one bullet. Use it. Use the flare. Get, get Brad here, now. That is one of the quickest helicopter landings I've ever seen, actually. Well, arrivals. Not too sure about the landing part. Will you just fucking land? Joe, you may want to move. Or you will be a Jill pancake, never made a Jill sandwich. Unless you want to be sandwiched between the helicopter and the fucking ground. Ah, shit. I knew you'd put a Michael Myers, you bastard. Ah, shit. Ow, ow, ah, fuck. You got me with the three hits. Actually, we're just gonna watch that real quick. 
And dead. Right, okay. What in the fuck? Oh, he suddenly sped up. Okay. He just fucking samurai slashed me with his claws. What is that? Oh god! I have a minute to kick his ass. I didn't adjust fast enough. Need to reload. Ow. No, 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 no. I'm not trying to run into him. These fucking camera angles. Ah, motherfucker. Am I not dead? Okay. Well, now I am. I'm gonna go all the way back here. I took the shot, didn't I? No, I did not. Uh-uh. Now it's just time to, like, chip his health away. Ow, ow, fuck, no! Right, this time, pull the trigger. Damn it. The fucking controls are fucking with me. The controls are fucking with my ability to do shit. Can like one of them come up by now? Can I use one of these? Oh wait, I can't grab nothing. Jackass. Oh fuck! How am I supposed to get out of the way fast enough with these goddamn controls? Just run along. Take it, that's no way out. It's welded and does not open. Shit. Ow. Fucking asshole. Okay. Well, balls. I took the shot there, I saw that. Do I have any of that? Hey Brad, do you mind giving me some ammo for one of these better guns that I have or something? Oh wait, I'm an idiot. I equipped it. You stand still to take one shot at a guy and it just does not go well. He's gearing up for it. Ow. Ow. Oh, I didn't have any fucking... If I had a shotgun ammo or if I had my fucking grenade or anything other than this, it'd be better. Do the charge. Of course, I don't get anywhere fast enough because fucking tanks. There's no ammo nowhere. Fuck me. You kind of just have to hope that you get him. Don't even get the chance to put 10 bullets in him.
Ah, fuck off. Just gonna run around for a little bit, see what happens if we reach the end of the timer. You won't let me do that. <laughs> I, I ran to the right. Game was like, no. No, fuck you. There we go. Getting better at dodging this shit. The only problem is it's going like 15 different camera angles at a time. I dodged that shit. That didn't even hit me. Just keep running. Fuck it, it's cardio. Okay. Okay. Well, I got turned around because of the fucking cameras. I'm still up. I was gonna say I'm still alive, but my god. No option. Okay, so it cuts to something there. Look, see, it cuts to the helicopter. So I just need to cut about and stay alive for a little while longer. Back up. There we go. It's coming. Jill. Good. Jill. Actual Jill. fucking Jill. weapon. Amazon, What'd you say? Did you call me an Amazon? I thought you said Amazon. I thought I heard Amazon. Come on. Get yes, yes, yes. Of course I will. No, I hit you. I told the quip. I hit a quip. Don't fuck with me on this game. Get him the fuck out of here. You fucking Frankenstein's monster wannabe. His, his jaw's chattering. He's still alive. Alright, time to get the fuck out of here. Hopefully, fucking Chris and Barry have actually made their way up. Or else they're dead. And they somehow made it to the next games. That shit got stressful. I thought I had to actually defeat him with 10 bullets. Why did Brad take so long to give me that fucking rocket launcher? He was just right there. He was watching me run past this fucking thing. Try to shoot him with a pistol. And he's like, eh, I'll give her 20 seconds. Oh, he's not dead yet? Oh, I guess I'll throw down the rocket launcher. Anyway, there goes the fucking mountain. Live action's back. Oh, I thought he broke, for, broke the fourth wall for a second there, but no. Barry's just fiddling with his gun. That sounds bad out of contact. Barry suddenly pulls another, like, fucking betrayal move like ah Wesker's gonna get my family I need to kill everyone on this helicopter blam 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 oh nice chill music what wait where's Rebecca it said the Rebecca and I was like wait a minute she's here where is she I guess that's an answer that can be found in Resident Evil Zero. I know she's in that game. That may or may not have that game too. So I might play that soon too. What the shit? We avoided that. We didn't do that, we, we used the root system. We had it with Vigil and then I took care of it myself. Anyway. That's her uh, probably having uh, very bad <laughs> nightmares. So total time was 5 hours and 56 minutes. Number of saves one, but that's bullshit. It was actually 9. 9 saves. Because I saved at the end of every episode up until this one. So, you know. 
Yeah, that that number should be nine saves, but it's about like sixty or seventy deaths. So, yeah, not as good as that looks, <laughs> but yeah, that was fun. I had a lot of fun playing this game. Oh, I got a special key, the closet key. The game's trying to convince me to play even more, which I'm not saying I won't. I'm not saying I won't, but I'm not saying I will. It's up to you guys, actually. Get that shit off screen. What the fuck? I, I skipped it and then it went fucking ape shit. Anyway, hopefully you guys enjoyed, you know, typical outro. But if you want me to do another run, either as Jill or as Chris, uh, you know, say in the comments below. Uh, if you want to help me out and you've enjoyed what you've seen and you might enjoy the other stuff that's on the channel, you know, might check some of that out. You might want to hit subscribe. And uh, if you want notifications, you got to hit the bell because that's a thing. And I'll hopefully see you all next time. And Smiler out. Okay, I didn't expect that shit. Anyway, Smiler out.